Storm preps are underway by city and county crews. Just this Friday, the county has responded to dozens of calls. For the rest of the day, even though the rain has stopped, crews have been out trying to get everything cleared out before the next system comes in. Crews are making sure that debris is cleared out. So the areas that we tend to see a little bit more of the, the clogged storm drains or some of the, the minor flooding is uh, ones where we have higher densities of trees. And be, that's because the, the leaves and debris can oftentimes fall off the trees and into the streets, and then those end up in the storm drain. And those storm drains and pumps are ready to go in areas prone to localized flooding on streets. The city of Sacramento has 105 pumping stations to remove excess water. So these pumping stations are, are very critical to uh, uh, reducing and, and preventing flooding. Um, so basically Sacramento is on a low elevation. It's very flat and again we're surrounded by levees. So those pumping stations are required to move that water outside of the city. In this case, water would be transferred to regional sanitation for treatment. Otherwise, the water is moved into creeks or canals. And aside from clearing out debris, Sacramento County has their own plan. Uh, we expect to be using our vacuum trucks a lot on Sunday because of the system that's coming in. All crews and office staff with city and county will be on standby to respond over the weekend. And this is one of 105 pumping stations throughout the city of Sacramento, which officials are hoping will work the way that they were designed as we expect heavy rainfall over the weekend. In Sacramento, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. The city of Sacramento has more than 140 miles of levees, streams and channels that also sometimes collect the water and move it to other places, along with 82 water quality flip control basins where the stormwater can collect and wait to be transferred to other areas.